Do you want to know how to stay consistent with your GMAT preparation along with your busy job? Watch this video till last. Hi, my name is Mandeep. I'm a GMAT coach and founder of GMAT Mantra. I help committed GMAT students to score 700 plus on GMAT by giving structure and consistency to their preparation. In August this year, a student joined my GMAT classes. So when he joined, he told me that he has around 16 years of experience and his profile is in sales and his profile involved a lot of traveling. But he said that he will manage his studies along with his job. I said, fine, let's start with the classes. So during the first week, he attended all the classes, he completed his homework. But after that, he started missing classes. He failed to complete homework on time. I asked him, why is he getting so inconsistent? He told me that his job is getting a bit hectic and he's not getting around two to three hours every day to study. I asked him, does he get 30 minutes to study every day? He said easily, but 30 minutes are not sufficient. I said, 30 minutes are always better than nothing. Small steps are always better than stagnation or standing somewhere. In 30 minutes, Let's say you study two hours and you expect to do 10 questions, but in 30 minutes, at least you can do four questions or maybe three questions. And if you add up those 30 minutes over a period of five days, it becomes 2.5 hours. That means you are able to complete all your 10, 12 questions in a week. On the other side, you don't study for those five days. And when you don't study for those five days, pressure builds up because then you start doubting yourself. And once you doubt yourself, you will stop taking actions. So best way to stay consistent along with your busy job is even if you get 15 minutes or maybe 10 minutes to one question, because there will be days when you get 10 minutes and then there will be days when you get 30 minutes and then there will be days when you get more than that also, but it's on momentum. And how do you build momentum? Consistently take small actions. So don't wait for, you know, when I get two hours or maybe three hours slot every day, only then I'll study. Every day, whenever you get 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, wherever you get the time, utilize it, make, take a small step. Don't wait for the big steps. Try to follow this over a period of time. After a month, you will see that you have a momentum. And once momentum is there, automatically you become consistent. Hope this helps you to bring consistency in your GMAT preparation. Thank you.